take me out for some hot dogs. Gonna look for some raw dog, gonna go up to where the weather's cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shuffle off to Buffalo. Shuffle off to Buffalo. Yes, that's right. I have shuffled off to Buffalo. And everyone has been telling me for years, go to Ted's in Buffalo. Go to Ted's. And Ted's all over the place in this western New York region. They're a chain, but you know what? They started in 1927 in, a, in, a, in basically a little cart with the Greek immigrants coming over here, and they have char-broiled hot dogs. That's right, char-broiled hot dogs. And they're said to be the top dog in western New York and Buffalo, Buffalo, Niagara region. Well, I am here to give these a try to see just how good Ted's hot dogs really are. Mm. <laughs> What'd you say, Ted? So doesn't that look beautiful? All right, there's a lot to like here. Look at this. This is a, fl a flame broiled hot dog. And you can see that the, look at this, look at, the char look at this charring. This is some great charring. A and the dog, they put on their hole and it split open on its own. That's what you're supposed to do with a hot dog. And you know, it was a uh, good bun to dog ratio. You could uh, tell that these are quality dogs, but the true test says how they taste. Well, that's what we're gonna find out right now, and good snap. You could taste the you could taste the flame. Good trying. No wonder they've been a big success for nearly a hundred years. Raise the apple. This is a home run. Now, of course, I've come accustomed to the chili dog. You know, I don't put ketchup, mustard, or anything on it, but I do like the chili and cheese dog. And the chili dog is almost an entity onto itself. So this is the chili dog. Again, good to bun to dog ratio. They use a cheese whiz. They use a nice little ground meat chili. No beans. It's got a mild spice, great snap again. Great trying. I'm gonna give the chili dog a triple. And of course they got fries. I like these little fries. These little dinner fries are always good. Well cooked. I'm gonna give the fries an 8.1. Now, I saw something interesting at the soda machine. A Loganberry. And this is a Buffalo specialty. It's kind of a couple of berries put together into a soda. And they've been making it for over 100 years. It's a crystal, uh, something crystal. But this is a Loganberry. I've never had a Loganberry soda. I never even heard of Loganberry soda. But I'm gonna give this a try. Got a nice sweetness to it. I'm gonna give it a 7.7. Well, another great review, you know. Ted, I gotta say, you have some great hot dogs here. It's a great place to raw dog, you know. This is like a, a secret location that only people in Western New York truly know about. And you know, they've been going here since 1927. And it's because the hot dogs here are fantastic, you know. 
If you know, and you guys told me to come to this place. You told me to come to this place a long time ago. And I finally hit it. So if you know of any other places I can go, leave a comment down below. Of course, click like, subscribe, and you know, you could always buy any one of my raw dog shirts. We got the raw dog on the road, the classic shirt, and you know, we have the winter shirt that's the sweater that doesn't it's only available on, around Christmas time and then who knows we might be coming out with more stuff so check the bar to a store you can be raw dogging with me and of course keep raw dogging Ted way to go take me out for some hot dogs get me one that's only plain no mustard or horror ketchup I'll know what the dog is really about and it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There we go. Ted's has officially been raw dog. Yes, it has. Thank <laughs> you.